Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Alpha 18. So it is the morning of day 23. Um, and not much happened last night. I mean, we, I made a good deal of uh, gas last night. Uh, we got our rad removers made, vault doors, and a reinforced drawbridge is finished. So I'm just going to drop these in here, here, here for now. We'll leave those in there too. We don't really need them right now. Um, we do need more iron though. Uh, how are we doing here? That's all melted. Uh, we're gonna need to make some steel. So let's uh, how much clay do we have? We've got tons uh, Let's grab what little iron we do have Let's drop it all in here Let's get this going for today um, it's Probably gonna be enough um, And let's get oh, yeah, we need a crucible really badly because we're don't we don't have any forged steel So let's get another hundred Get these going because um, I want to start making spikes now uh, where right over here yeah I'm slowly banging this out guys it's getting there um, here we go uh, so let's take this over here because these spikes take a long time to make we might as well get them going um, how many can we make here 33 let's get them crafting and I want to make some barbed wire, but we don't have iron for that right now. I just went ahead and melted it all. So, um, let's go out. Uh, what do we want to tackle today? I know we want to work in the base. That is a thing today. And Anthony was Anthony Park was mentioning if I had cleared this building out across the street. And I haven't. Uh, the, my answer uh, was that uh, each of these floors are the same all the way to the top, pretty much. They're all the same rooms. Uh, and it's just a really boring clear. So I might leave it till later on. I don't know if we'll get to it uh, in this series, but it, it's really, I'll leave it till later on and we'll go in loud um, when there's runners and stuff and we'll just clear all the rooms. It shouldn't take very long to do it. Uh, the looting will probably take longer than the killing. There's usually one or two zombies in almost every apartment, but uh, it's not a lot. Um, but it really is, a, it, I gotta say, it really is a boring clear. I did this with my kids once and it just really is a boring clear. So um, that's why it's kind of left as it is. All right, so we need to go to the trader today. We need to get some iron. Um, do we have stuff for the trader? Sorry, it's been a few days since I recorded last. Um, work has been exce exceedingly busy. Just finished uh, 21 TV spots, sent those out. Um, what am I looking for? Stuff to sell. Uh, we want to keep this, I guess so. We've already got a rod and spring mod, I believe, in our pistol, right? Yeah, I don't know if we need this. You know what, let's hang on to it. Um, there's not really anything to sell. So, maybe we just go... What's in town? I'm w we're waiting for the concrete to melt down. Not a lot here in this town. We've already done the military base. Hmm. Well, let's head off to the trader. It's almost trader time anyway. Um, actually, we bought all the steel. I'm trying to think now. Let's just go take another mission then. Uh, the, I learned something interesting the other day. Um, and I, I was, I've been racking my brain thinking about how going forward we're going to be able to manage to um, like keep up with the amount of brass that we're going to need. There we go. To be able to um, handle uh, making enough ammo to be able to handle the hordes. And I was thinking, you know, how are we going to do that? Like, There's just no way you can get enough brass to maintain enough ammo moving forward to handle hordes. And then I realized I realized you can melt dukes for brass and I'm like there's an you know you do qu quests for the trader there's an endless supply like you do a half decent quest for the trader get a few thousand dukes and there's a few thousand brass like you don't even need to bring brass back from the mission I didn't even know you could do that I was like what the hell and I don't I don't remember I don't remember who it was what youtuber I saw do it I'm like what I what what that's a thing? Uh... What the heck was that? 
That was like an invisible barrier. Alright, here we are. Trader Gen is now open. Let's see what she's got. I know we were just here the other, the other day. Uh, what about jobs? North, fetch. Fetch, clear. Fetch, buried supplies, level two. Fetch to the west. Hmm. I'm in a bit of a quandary. Old Victorian Ooh, house? Brilliant. Sure. I guess this kind of makes us friends. Uh, now, now we bought all your steel, right? Pretty sure we did. Not all of it. Um. Don't think there's really anything we need here. Coal and burnt wood. Blitlock wood. Um. Battery bank. Yeah, let's just go hit up this this mission here. Do 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 do. -do, -do. Let's gain up the bike. All right, let's do this. Hey Mo. Oh, sorry. Hey Mo. Oh, sorry. Well, we're here, guys. Right back where we were before. Let's park the bike, go deal with the, the, the Mo and his other brother Mo. I got a question for you. I don't know if anyone would be able to answer this. So if I do a POI and I wrench like a, let's say a car that's in the driveway, and then I come back the next day and do the same POI and reset it in a mission, and I park my bike where the car is, or was, and reset the POI. Don't get up, Mo. Um, I reset the POI. Does the car then trap my bike or destroy my bike if it's parked where the car is going to respawn? I don't know. There's a question for you, and I don't want to try it because I have no idea what'll happen. I love this baseball bat. Whoa! The hitbox is terrible, but damn, this thing knocks the shit out of them. Yeah, like, that's just the only thing I don't like about this baseball bat. It's it's just, even the any, any melee weapons now, they've nerfed them so badly. The hitbox is so tiny, and yeah, you can catch a piece of the zombie, but you're not guaranteed to actually hit them, which I, to me is just annoying as shiz. All right, let's go in a little loud. Oh, it's downstairs. Well... Go in the smart way. Now, usually there was a zombie on the roof before, but not anymore. All right, let's find out where it is. I want to get it in and out of here. I don't want to spend a lot of time. So it looks like it's on this side of the house. All right, by the tower. I think I know where it is. Right here. Yeah, watch this. So I've done this before. Usually when I'm playing by myself, um, I've got a couple of uh, different um, things on the go. Solo play. Just for when I was nice and I was really tired and just can't record. I've often thought about just, um, you know, um, recording the gameplay with no sound and just posting it. Um, but, you know, I don't know if that's fun for you guys or not. Let me know. If you want me to record those kind of gameplays, I can certainly do that. But it's right in here. There you are, beautiful. And a free 400 and some odd experience. Right. Wake up! There. Now there's no... cement down here, just cobble? We're gonna take it though. A little out of range. Nope, got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, as I was saying about the brass, if you, like, for the longest time, I was like, how is anyone ever going to get enough brass to be able to maintain later hordes? Well, there's your answer. Taking fetch missions um, and just going out 
and um, ripping off a building that quickly going back get your dukes go melt it there's your brass and you can pull off a couple of those fetch missions in a day like once you've got a bike and whatever it's gonna go so fast pull off a couple of those missions and you've got your brass for horde night now it does take two brass for one casing what the heck didn't realize it was that strong ah wrench the car right into the ground oh, there's some more brass there oh full car taking it we didn't get a we didn't get an engine though what do we get nothing good oh level six battery beautiful radiator nice anyway yeah as I was saying like you can uh pull off a couple of those missions in a day and then just um, you'd have your brass for Horde Knight easy enough then all you have to do is mine lead coal nitrate powder which by the way I stopped in the way here I left some nitrate powder on the road when I was wrenching or uh, digging up all those bodies oh candidate hang on let's see if we can launch him into space ah eh, not really um, I love how the bike skids now when you turn real fast Beautiful. I love that. Let's do some drifting. Anyway, as I was saying, like, uh, I was always wondering how that was going to happen. But I picked up the nitrate powder as I was coming here. I'm like, how did that get there? Oh, popping pills. You said we were going to clear this, right? We got the time today. Going loud? Let's make sure we're loaded. Uh, I don't know. We got time. Let's hit that roof up first. Let's smoke some people on the roof. I don't have to worry about them dropping down on me. Oh, oh no. What's that? What's that? You want a baseball bat to the head? There you go. Is that what you were looking for? Maybe not. I don't know. She was looking for something. I don't think it was the baseball bat, though. All right, let's get up here. I don't want these guys dropping down on me. Let's see what we got. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh yeah, we can get some uh, brass radiators out of these things. Let's clear this out. And goodbye. Oh, are you a runner? Yep, you're a runner. You might be too. Well, not anymore. You ain't doing much running. Yeah, you know these buildings aren't... I gotta say, they should have the old... The ability to have the old spawn rates for zombies. I would really, really appreciate that. Because, I mean, the buildings are far easier... Oh, there's an airdrop over there, too. The buildings are far easier to clear now than they were. Just because, like... I mean, you used to have, like, six to eight zombies on this roof. And you'd go into the building and they drop down on you, right? And now it's like, you go here and there's, like, two zombies and... Does it really matter? Not really. Take those. Let's take this apart for the brass. I know we can get brass from dukes, um, but I'd rather not use my dukes for that. So if we can wrench these apart, get the radiators. It's 100 brass per radiator. So spending a few seconds is definitely worth it. All right, let's go put the stuff in the bike. Uh, whoop. Yeah, let's wake, actually, let's wake everybody up on the inside first. Let's give them a place to hit here. Oh, it's a biker. What's up, buddy? Knocking your shit out. Get up here. See, it's so weird. Like, I, connect, I can connect really far away, but oftentimes if I'm, like, really close to the guy, and I swing just, like, off the side, I don't hit him at all. Like, if you can line them up perfectly, you can just really take their heads off. But if you can't line them up, it's, like, it's so hard to be able to hit them at all. Like, you have to have a perfect lineup. Which I find annoying. And there's other times when you just sort of miss the zombie's head. You're really close. You just miss the target box in the zombie's head. But you don't even catch a piece of them at all. Which is confusing to me. Like, how can you be swinging a baseball bat that close? Just barely missing a zombie's head in the left or right swing. And then 
just missed completely. Yet at a distance, I can connect with their face. I, I don't get that. So, to me, they, they need a little bit more work on that. All right, let's drop all this shiz off in the bike. I am learning to use the bike a little better than I was before. Get over my laziness of like not wanting to go constantly come back to the bike to bring stuff inside. Usually when I get home, I just want to like, it's kind of like in real life. When I get home, I just don't want to go back outside. All right, let's uh, wake some shit up in here. Let's go through here. Yeah, see, you know, the POIs, they just don't have the volume of zombies anymore. So it's like, you know, going in, it's not really that scary. What they should do is make runners a thing from the beginning. Then it becomes scary. Then you know, you don't know. Dealing with, you know, before you're dealing with a dozen zombies in here. And now, like, you're dealing with, like, three or four. But if, if you knew one of them was going to be a runner, you'd be, like, totally careful as to which what you're doing in here. I mean, later in the game, this guy's a runner. Later in the game, it doesn't really matter that much. God, this crossbow. So brutally efficient. We got someone up here. Wake up! Oh, she's a runner too. Oh, maybe not. I just shot you in the arm. Appreciate you holding those for me. Now we got someone down here. Wow. So in one of my playthroughs, I've been focusing on the bow. We got someone outside here. I've been focusing on the bow. Where are you? There you go. There you go, moron. I'm over here. Come on. Yeah, so I've been... F hey, Mo. So I've been focusing on the bow, and um, I've got it to the point now where I can... I can... Uh, One-shot uh, zombies. Uh, feral zombies in the head. It's beautiful, I gotta say. It just really is beautiful, the one up there. And it doesn't take too much either. Just line them up. Line them up, knock the shiz down. Arr. Now they have to be sleeping, of course. Even cops, like sleeping cops, one shot to the head, it's beautiful. Hold still. Well, see what I mean? See how close I was there? And not even a, a small hit on them. And yet I can swing from a distance and hit them. It's so bizarre. Take my bolt back. Yeah, see this back room used to have three or four zombies in it. And this one usually has something nasty. Just not today. See, she was a one-shot. This bat is like so devastating. If you get the right hit on it, you guys are playing, man, get the bat if you can. Pay, it's worth paying for at the beginning. Even like a level one, totally worth paying for. Because, you, you, I mean, you got to find the batch, like the Fireman's Almanac. Or no, sorry, the uh, the baseball player one. I can't remember what it's called. To get the bat. Uh, what's this? Wasteland Treasures. Uh, I can get honey when harvesting trees. All right, that's kind of handy. We don't really have infections, so... Yeah, we've been avoiding inf infection, which is great. As soon as you start getting armor with, with resistance bonus on it, I believe the resistance bonus um, adds to the uh, your ability to resist getting infected. 
All right, let's loot this place thoroughly, and then I will meet you outside and show you all the bonus loots we got from here. All right, see you in a second. All right, this is the last one. Blood bags. Okay, so we made out pretty well. Tons of bandages. We got three beakers. Um, some cash. Uh, we found some acid in one of the boxes, which is all, uh, awesome. Or all right. Um, we managed to max ourselves out. We didn't find very many first aid kits, though, unfortunately. Maxed out our first aid bandages. Got some extra bandages. So not a lot, but a lot of good stuff. We won't need medical supplies for a long time. So let's go ahead and turn the crossbow bolts or the feathers in the crossbow bolts. No, I did check that one, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, did we check this? No. Last one now. There we go. Nothing. Oh, did I check the register? Oh, yeah, that's where I got the cash from, I think. Yeah. All right, so we did okay. I mean, not amazing. What's in here? I did find uh, one can of ravioli, though, which I ate. Yeah, there's some oil. Beautiful. What else we got? Anything? Ah, some more brass. All right, we'll pick that up in a second. Let's just drop some stuff off in the bike. We got so much shiz on us now. So I'm thinking we're going to go home rather than going to the trader. Um, and we will uh, start working on the base again. Let's just drop what we can off in here. Yeah, not bad. Um, we'll, uh, here we go. We'll, um, start working on the base again and get some stuff done today. I want to see if we can get some of those uh, um, walkways com like partially completed today. Uh, just so I can get a sense of where I'm going to be placing the um, the blade traps. I'm still not convinced where I'm going to, where I'm thinking about putting them is the right place. I want to use them for taking legs off but um, I watched a video and I, I apologize I don't remember who the YouTuber was. Um, where they had the blade traps set up um, from above and they would only touch the, the um, demolishers heads so they wouldn't hit the chest they would just hit the head and I thought well that's a great idea and they had a they had a oh, sorry it was a trip wire that was set up across and it would only trigger on demolishers and it would turn the blades on um, and it would tack their heads so I thought it was a kind of a cool idea to hopefully not um, have a demolisher trigger. But I think, too, is if we're shooting at the demolishers from the side, I think we're going to be just fine. Um, get the M60 rocking. Shooting at them from the side, um, I think we should be able to avoid hitting their plate. And if we do hit it, we should be able to kill them relatively quickly. As long as we're using 7.62, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's get this stuff inside, and we can get out and work on the base here. I just have my own little driveway. What the heck is going on? Uh, something didn't load. Is that just a warning I was going too fast? It's the new, it's the new digital speed bump? I don't know. What the heck was that? Alright, let's get this shiz inside. Yeah, so, you know, I can't believe we picked up three beakers in there. Three beakers. I just remember one, the one series I was playing that I couldn't find a beaker to save my life. It was just really bad. Refuel this sucker. Uh, let's leave the gas in here. Actually, you know what? Let's not and see what we did because I may want to make some Molotovs tonight. So let's hang on to that. Ah, we need to pick up that supply drop. You know, it's bad enough trying to like talk and play it at the same time, but then when you're like attention deficit it's like it's even worse uh, okay let's drop this stuff in here all right how are we doing in here pretty good let's get that going good stuff what do we got in here everything beautiful let's drop this in there what do we got in here there's our sand that we needed okay 732 not a lot now what do we got in here oh we got lots okay beautiful not lots but enough enough for today that's all we can ask for. All right, let's get this stuff going. Um, do we have? You know, I've been I've been avoiding the nail gun because for the longest time, um, my assumption was that the nail gun was just as good as the hammer, but it's not. It's better. 
uh, in the old versions it was just as good. Not anymore. All right, so let's run this out here just to see. Um, now what I'm going to do is to go along, see how it raises the ground? Just to make sure the ground is flat. We'll just pick them back up. I want to make sure the ground is like flat right next to my my uh, base here. Just so that, you know, the zombies aren't like randomly hitting underneath it. I don't think they will, but you never know, right? Just get paranoid that way. Do the other side here in a second. Okay, so the thought was, pick this up. Um, yeah, we already did this side, we didn't. Uh, the thought was that we were going to build a um, walkway where one block is solid and then the other blocks um, are angled so the zombies fall off the walkway and have to come around and that will limit the number of zombies at our doorway at one time. Now I mean it's not going to be perfect obviously um, but it'll be close enough. Now that should raise it all up, right? Yeah, okay. So now it's relative. I mean, you can see the little bulge here. It's relatively flush all the way around. No gaps. It's going to help a little bit. Now, I, I most likely in the future would want to replace all this around the outside with with uh, concrete. But at the moment, I've got to work on just getting the base up and running. Did I hear? Oh, it's somebody over there. Um, so yeah, so the idea is that they're going to slip off. And we never do this side. They're going to slip off and then have to come around again. Now I want to make it so that it's easy for them to get up and down and let them fall off as many times as they'd like. So the ramp up, I think I want to make like out this way. Um, I wonder if that's, if it's not, I think it's better if it's straight ahead. That way I can kind of see them from my base, going up the ramp. Does it matter though? I'm thinking maybe... Oop, how did that happen? Oh, there's a stick there that I can't hit, apparently. Um, oh, and there's a stone, of course. Completely blocking this. Because of course it would. Um, my god, ADD. So, no, I'm thinking I want it to be away, angling away from my base. And I think the reason for that... Am I hearing somebody or am I just going crazy? I'm going crazy. Uh, I think the reason for it being angled away from the base is so that cops can't see me be shooting at me. So when they come up, they can, you know, they can see me. But if they're coming up the ramp, they can't see me. If they're coming along this way, they'll have to go to the ramp first. In which case, they won't be able to see me. And let's get this guy away from the base. So I think that'll be the, the uh, course of action. Uh, swing batter. See ya. His head couldn't take my greatness and it exploded. All right, um, so is this going to be enough? That's the question. Let's get it started. Now, here's the question. If they're going to be falling off on this side too, we want to make it easier for them to get over to the other side. We could leave a, now nah, I better not leave a couple of, my big fear is that a um, demolisher blows up down below, takes out a support pillar, then this whole base is useless. Let's just make sure it's not by reinforcing it all. All right, that sh uh, is that going to be enough? I think so. I don't want it too big. I'm going to be limited in my supplies too. Like I can only make so much for Horde Knight. So let's go with this route, and I want to make it the ramp three wide going up. So we're going to go this way. Alright, and 
and then we'll go out this way. Right? The ramp will be three wide. Yeah, good enough. Pick up this rotten trash. Right? Yeah. Or sorry, this ramp is two, but the walkway up will be three. I want to make it easy for them to get up. I don't want them hitting on stuff as a as the, like make it easy as possible for them to get up and make it easy as possible for them to fall off. Get them going around in a merry-go-round here. Now I just want this to be out far enough the stairs will carry them up. I don't want to make it too much that the cops can actually get up and then see me and stand there and shoot at me. I want them to come up and end, the stairway will end right here and then move over. So let's not go too far for now. I know we'll need at least this much at the bottom. So that's that. Now let's start adding more, raising this up. Now how much concrete do we have left here? Shit tons. Beautiful. This is not anywhere near as intensive as the base was, or the platform. All right, I'm just going to fill all this in, uh, if I don't break it first. And then I'll, uh, I'll go until I'm out of concrete and I'll show you what I've done. All right, guys, there we go. We're down to the last 16. And so here it is so far. I just did this so that they can't get up right now. But um, this we have to leave because this is going to be one of the angle blocks, I believe. We're going to have this only five high. I think we're only going to have it five high. Uh, so this will be one of the angle blocks, and then the second one will be on top. So it'll be a nice steep angle straight down and off, and then this will be a regular block all the way along. So that's going to work out, I think. We're getting pretty close. I think, you know, we should have more than enough um, time to finish this off before horde night. Now I want to make sure this is like severely angled off of here um, so that they will most likely slide and go right off. Uh, when they come up in big packs and stuff they're going to be hitting each other and knocking each other and falling off here. And I think what we might do is put the blade traps like over here somewhere hitting at their legs just to make them stumble and fall and hopefully have them fall off. Um, but we'll have to see how that's going to be so that's this for right now. Let's go inside. We need to start making some specialized concrete blocks. Um, I think what I might do next episode, um, or next day, so the 24th, I'll spend in the mine again, uh, getting more iron, um, getting more materials that we're going to need, some more um, lead, whatever we can get, and we'll get that going. Now, how much lead do I have in here? Three grand. Let's start... Let's start melting this up. Um, so we just got an anvil in there. That should probably be enough. Usually it's like two of these for every hundred. If you've got an anvil, it helps a little bit. So you don't need quite as much. So I don't need 320. Two and, uh, 26 would probably be enough. Or sorry, I don't need 32. Anyway. That should probably be enough to melt it out. So we're going to do that. Actually, we, while we're doing that, let's get... Uh, what do we need for bullet casings? Oh, clay. Holy derpity derp. That's a big mistake. Let's just grab a thousand for now and drop it in. Alright, so we'll need more than that. We're going to move this up. Put you in. Grab a bit more of this. That will probably be enough. If not, it'll get more clay in there anyway. All right, we'll start making bullets later. How did this do? Beautiful spikes are done. Uh, let's drop those in here. The iron can go in here, and this goes elsewhere. Put this in here for now. So we're going to need to start making some stairs. We're going to do it out of cobblestone and upgrade that way, um, just so that we don't quite have enough. I'm sure we will. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm worried. 319, 318. All right, let's get some wood in here. Get 
that melting down. Get my light on. I don't forget. I keep forgetting I had the damn thing. Uh, so 318. Yeah, let's go 319 on this one. And the rest in this one. The only thing I've noticed in some of my other playthroughs is if I wait too long to start building the, the horde base before day 30. Um, and yes, I always play day 30 hordes. Um, to me, it never made any sense that it would be the hordes would be every seven days. I know for the for the game's sake, it makes perfect sense. But in reality, like, why would zombies be stirred up every seven days? Most likely, it would be every 30 days, like on a on a on a uh, specific phase of the moon or something. I don't know. I mean, it's all fantasy anyway, but whatever. Uh, anyways, it's, I just like it because the hordes are huge, and I don't always feel rushed to get stuff done. Um, every single week, they're spending half your time or more working on a horde base, uh, which I prefer spending the first, you know, 20 days or so just enjoying the game, collecting stuff, exploring. It's just the way I like to play. Uh, anyway, um, that being said, um, yeah, usually I find the last little bit rushed, um, the last 30 days, so I just want to make sure we have everything in place before that happens, which I think we will. I think we, I think we should have no problem. Um, getting stuff done here so let's put you back in there and let's make some steps now we're gonna need we're going five high so we'll need 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 steps and that i can show you why so let's make sure we've got at least 22 and then we need well, how many corner blocks one two three four five six seven eight so we need at least 30 more of these let's make 31 more uh where are you here recipes 31 that should give us more than enough i think for what we want to do i'm going to make an angled uh, bottom part kind of similar to this on the sides of the ramp so the ramp would be up here this will be on the side so that they when the zombies are coming up and this is the ramp going up this way they can easily get up and then up onto the ramp again. So that's the goal. As you can see, we got the roof done too. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't really much, but uh, we did learn something new today. You can melt dukes in here, which is uh, kind of a cool thing. Once we turn this in, we should have a couple thousand. That would be a couple of thousand uh, um, brass, which would be about a thousand, uh, thousand rounds of ammunition. So it's an easy way to get brass. Um, I wish I had known that way earlier because that would have made making ammo so much easier. Uh, the other thing I should probably start doing is start making ammo. We got, I mean, we got plenty of 7.62 and I think that's the way I want to go is 7.62 ammo. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.